Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to you, family. I welcome you all to this session in Jesus' name. What has been written about you is different. The manifestation of your life and what God has prepared for you is different. Before I share this word, let us pray. Father, thank you for this opportunity to hear your word. Guide us to speak that which represents you and let every blessing that accompanies your word be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. What has been written about you is different. See, sometimes people look at you, seeing the pattern in your family, and they conclude on you and say you're going to end up that way. They look at the people who are sick and say, oh, you two are going to be sick. They look at the fact that there was no money or there's not been any financial breakthrough, maybe in the family or in the lineage or so, and they feel like that is going to be your same story. People watching cl closely just to see you end up like your family members, your parents or grandparents who didn't succeed. But the Lord has sent me with this word. He says that your own story will be different because what has been written about you is different. I shared a prophetic word yesterday or two days ago, and I was saying that God uses us to express different dimensions of himself. God wants to use you to tell a different story about himself, a story that is different from what they know, a story that is different from what they think they understand. Look at a man called David. There was no king in his lineage, and everybody looking at the children of J.C. will never have guessed that there will arise any king. But God chose David to prove to them that things will not always end the way people think it will end. Things will not always be the way people wish it could be. When God's plan is involved, the results will be different. I decree over your life, your own results will be different in the name of Jesus. The Lord will single out, out you out of that family and make you great. God will single you out of that neighborhood and exalt you. God will single you out of that community and honor you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Father, thank you for your word. We receive it with gladness in Jesus' name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you. May he grant you his peace. I love you so much. Shalom.